what's up you guys it's Katie Bang and welcome to or welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be talking about common mistakes people make especially me when I first got beardies with their bearded dragon so this is my little helper today his name is Douglas and he's my bearded dragon I've had him for about nine months I believe it might be longer I don't know he has a long tail Ooh. Um, so I just want to get right into the video but first off make sure to subscribe to join our amazing family we are the bing bunch i love every single one of you so much and yeah why wouldn't you want to join it's free and then two also hit that notification bell because then you get notified every single time we post a video so that's super exciting now let's get into the video he's so cute i think that the number one thing People don't get right when it comes to getting new animals. I know I didn't when it came to the beardies because I was just so excited. Um, is doing enough research and I am so willing to say that I didn't do enough research at the beginning because I think it's so important to create awareness and know that you don't know everything and you can always improve the way you're having your animals and keeping your animals. So I think it's so important to do as much research as possible as you can on an animal, especially an animal that's one of the basic animals. And bearded dragons are known as a beginner reptile, just like beta fish are known as a beginner fish. Unfortunately, the beginner animals' care needs tend to be overall not met in most households because there's so much misinformation out there because they are kind of hardy breeds or breeds animals so they can survive in a lot of conditions but when you're keeping an animal it's a privilege and it's your responsibility to make sure that they're thriving and not just surviving the first thing i'm going to talk about is the enclosure one big thing i see a lot of people doing is the red lights they sell them at petsmart and petco a lot of the workers will recommend them to you and this um, puts off heat so a lot of people use it for heat but these aren't good because the bearded dragons can still see the light in the middle of the night so it'll throw off their sleeping schedule they won't get as good as rest like there's just a lot of hey buddy there's just a lot of downsides to them so instead of that I recommend getting a ceramic heater that puts off no light whatsoever and actually does has more heat another thing that I see in enclosures that people kind of lack are thermometers. The little thermometers that hang on there that are in a circle aren't as accurate. They can actually be off by 10 or 20 degrees. So you want to make sure that you are having a temp gun, which is what I use, or a really good high-end thermometer because you want to make sure their basking spot is at the temperature it needs to be and their cool side is at the temperature it needs to be. Another thing that people do all the time and it looks really pretty but is so dangerous for your beardy is sand. And the reason this is dangerous is because I don't know about you if you have a beardy, but my beardy likes to go around and lick things and try everything and they're just such curious lizards. And unfortunately, if they're looking stuff, or if you put crickets or doobie roaches into their enclosure and they're eating and they get a little bit of sand, it can actually cause impaction, which will lead to death for your beardy in a lot of cases. So it's definitely not worth the looks, and it's also a little bit harder to keep clean and can have more bacteria in it. Another thing to avoid is cohabbing, and cohabbing is actually really dangerous because bearded dragons can be from the same litter. I think that's what it's called. I'm like, uh, I'm into dogs, so I'm like litter. They can be from the same batch. That's so funny. It's like a batch of brownies. And they can still not get along. They can have grown up together their whole lives and it's still not ideal because one will always be more dominant and in charge and eat most of the food. Um, one thing is when I got my bearded dragons, I wanted one and the lady actually gave me two. She like put them in a cage and gave me two. And turns out that I had no other option but to keep them together for a little bit. But then I separated them as soon as I can. I did a bunch of research on it because I didn't know anything about cohabbing. Unfortunately, a lot of times stuff can happen really quickly. And it's not realistic for us to watch our bearded dragons 24-7 and make sure nothing's happening. And even if we are watching them 24-7, a lot of times they can do stuff before we can react. What I mean by do stuff is bite each other and hurt each other. And sometimes when they bite them in the right spot, it can be really fatal for them. And it's just not worth it to put an animal at risk. 
I think the main thing this all comes down to is just not doing enough research. So I think if I had to say one mistake a lot of owners make is just not doing research. And I know I said that before, but I really do think that that's something everyone just needs to be aware of. Do as much research as you can. You can never do too much research. Animal care and taking care of animals is so opinionated and there's so many different ways to do it. So the best way to figure out how you feel comfortable taking care of your animal and the best way for you to offer your animal the best life possible is for you to go through so many articles of research and so many videos and so many books that you are now educated, uh, educated enough to make the proper decision for your lizard or your animal, depending on what that animal would be. You can never do too much research. I urge you to do a lot because they're so cute and so sweet. And also, I think a lot of people don't realize how social they are. Like, this guy is so social. And yeah, take them out, play with them. They're not like a fish that you can just leave alone. They're very playful and sweet. And yeah, I love them. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today's creature call out is going to be Sadie Windish. Hey Sadie, thank you for being so supportive. Make sure to like and subscribe. Tell me if there's something you think I missed down below. And also tell me one mistake you might have made with a pet before because I think it's so cool if we're all just growing human beings. And I think as humans we grow. Like I remember when I was little I used to keep my betta fish in bowls because I didn't know any better. Or my hamsters in little critter trails and I feel really bad for them but no they're not so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate you and I will see you next video bye